So we're going to be looking at the phase, and so it's the phase difference between the signal going down and coming back. And they just said the phase is made up of um, a number of different phases. So phase DM is just due to topography. Phase flat is you can actually get a phase. Well, was a phase difference? Well, it's, it's linked to the curvature of Earth. Displacement is what we want. The atmospheric phase due to atmospheric changes and no and that. Um, phase due to noise and they said these last two are extremely difficult to model so you just want them to be as little as possible um, and so so that you can get out this displacement phase they suggested in order to do this I'm just looking here you can see to reduce the atmospheric contribution and the noise contribution they say um, it's advisable to use images from the dry season with a small perpendicular baseline and the baseline is the distance between your two satellite um, recordings or images. I'm still figuring out how to determine the baseline. I'll get back to you about that. Um, okay so let's see how to do that. So we go here we go radar and wait for it, interferometric products and then the first one interferogram formation and so you're going to make sure here that you've got your ESD file this last one here is my interferogram so sorry mine is number eight and then I'm going to click here on processing parameters and they said ensure that you subtract the flat earth ensure you subtract the topographic phase if you're looking for small deformation then you're not investigating the topography and then also make sure you've clicked include coherence estimation and the square pixel is um, clicked as well and it's 10 by 3. Oh, and the thing we needed to change was go here and change SRTM 3 seconds to SRTM 1 second and then you click run and then you land up with this interferogram and if you open it and you click here into bands you can see this is the phase that we're interested um, and if we double click, you can see the nice fancy colors. And coherence is telling you how well the two images compared. And if they compared well, then things should be white. And if they compared poorly, that's usually where there's water or high dense vegetation, it should be black. They said if you've got a lot of black, your image might not run in some of the later steps. So just um, watch that. But in general, I'm, I think mine looks pretty good. Um, you're going to have high coherence over things like buildings um, or flat and on vegetated areas and like I said, poor coherence over high vegetated areas and 